Welcome my political friends of the interwebs and I'm um, continuing to clean magazines. <laughs> Literally two seconds after the last time I let you guys go. Uh, but I promise you I will not uh, keep you for 20 minutes this time. Um, I did want to tell you a little story that I think would, you will find interesting. I live in a blue collar neighborhood, okay, because you know, <clears throat> I come from a blue collar background. I just happen to be one of those people that managed to uh, see the light. <laughs> see the light. The average house in this neighborhood is probably $100,000. Well, since the housing class, who freaking knows? At one point, the house on the street was going for like 170 which was insane. I even said that at the time. A lot of my neighbors were like, oh, how awesome is that? Our house is worth it. I said, no, it's not awesome, and you're going to find out why. And I was correct. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, my neighbor across the uh, street, we were talking to them. We actually had a block party. This is a good neighbor. The people in this neighbor are good people. But we had a block party, and um, my neighbor and I are always talking about uh, things like, you know, labor. Because he's a union guy. He's a union carpenter. In fact, he just recently retired uh, as, a, as a union carpenter, <clears throat> got his pension, uh, was able to retire at, I think, what was he, 55 years old. Because, you know, the unions got it like that. That's the way they roll. <laughs> you know? Um, and now, funny enough, he's uh, scabbing. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not going to name any names. And nobody knows where I live, so nobody will find out who he is. But, yeah. Uh, scabbing. <laughs> How do you like those apples? So, anyway, we're talking. And uh, <laughs> he was a big Obama supporter. Big, 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 big Obama supporter. Um, and I, in fact, I can remember last Halloween, because I like to give, I hand candy out here. It's what I do. And uh, I can remember, and he does too, across the street. And we, you know, when there's a lull in the, in the, you know, in the traffic with the youngsters, we end up, he either ends up in my house or I end up over his house. We shoot the shit until another wave of kids come, usually bust in from poor neighborhoods. But they usually come and, and you know, so basically, last uh, December, as you can imagine, uh, was interesting because he had a sign in his front yard, you know, re-elect Obama, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, big Obama supporter. <laughs> and um, so we had this black party last weekend. <clears throat> Actually, the weekend before last. And it was really kind of interesting because he was really kind of pissed off at the Republican Party, which is no, you know, nothing out of the ordinary, <laughs> you know, for him. He, he basically is... Uh, he, he thinks of the Republican Party much like I think of the Democratic Party. I mean, you know, I mean, we've, there's no love lost there. So what was interesting, though, was the reason he was pissed off at the Republican Party. Now, remember, this guy voted for Obama. Not once, not once, but twice voted for Obama. Big Union Obama voter, you know. So <laughs> we get to talking, and he and I were talking. We've talked about all kinds of things. We started out talking about Trayvon. And then this and that, and um, yeah, by the way, he's a gun owner. Yeah, one of those liberal Democrat voting gun owners. Yeah, uh-huh. Which, I, I, you know, he's my neighbor just on the off chance that he does see this. <laughs> I'm not going to call him retarded or anything, but, you know. <laughs> you know, you vote for Obama every chance he gets, he's trying to take your gun rights away. Eh, you know, but anyway, so he was pissed off at the Republicans, and here's why. This is the funny part. Because they didn't manage to stop Obamacare. That's right. It's all the Republicans' fault that we have Obamacare now. Yep. Had, you know, had, had, had the Republicans not, um, how do you put it? Had they not been, had their agenda not been just to destroy the president, maybe they could have made leeway into getting some kind of sensible uh, health reform as opposed to the nonsense that Barack Obama thrusted upon us <laughs> and Nancy Pelosi and the rest of those clowns. So didn't you know that it's the Republicans' party that we have Obamacare? It's the Republicans' fault that we have Obamacare. If not for the evil Republicans, we would not have that. And they, if they would have done their jobs and, and brought some balance to the world, <laughs> let me know in the comment section. Because i got to be honest with you. I was, I'll be honest, I'm going to totally, just, I'm not going to, believe me. I'm going to tell you exactly what's what. I really did feel like... The, the Republicans should have came out with a viable alternative because our health system, uh, although, you know, it works pretty good in a lot of ways, but it sucks in a lot of other ways. 
I think that there are things that could have been done that maybe he has a point could have prevented Obamacare from being reality. But see, here's where I differ with him, though, because in all honesty, I don't know that it would have made a difference at that time what the Democrat or Republicans had because, I, I, honestly, Nancy Pelosi was driving that, that bus. And she had a power uh, 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 ego thing going on that I've never seen anybody have. I mean, it's just she was a nut. God help us if she becomes Speaker again. And the truth of the matter is, is that they would have passed whatever their socialist agenda wanted to pass, regardless of what the Republicans came up with. I just find it funny that somebody that voted for Barack Obama twice is pissed off because the guy that he voted for, uh, the guy that signed Obamacare into law, the guy that basically, although yes, it's called the Affordable Health Care Act or whatever, hell, you know, it's not technically called Obamacare, but let's be honest. It's Obamacare, <laughs> you know the guy that the guy that voted for that buffoon that signed that that legislation into law. You know the legislation that we had to, you know we had to make a law before we could actually read it. You know remember that? Yeah, I I, I just find it funny that he's blaming the Republicans for all of it. <laughs> the Republicans didn't save him from the guy he voted for twice. How how much sense does that make? Oh, and then here's the other thing too. And listen, it's already starting. Oh, if they would have uh, 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 brought anybody, Mitt Romney was a joke and everybody, you know what, bullshit, let me tell you something. The liberals were pushing Mitt Romney from fucking Jump Street. And the reason why they were doing that was because they knew, let me, let me, I can still remember, because I listen to MSNBC, I watch what these idiots say, because I keep an eye out, listen, keep your, keep your friends close, your enemies closer. I watch that, that, that bullshit, and I can still remember them at MSNBC and NBC News beating the drums of the, if you, the only chance Republicans have is Mitt Romney, and they sold that shit to the American people. Now, was Mitt Romney a thousand times better than Barack Obama? Hell yeah, you know? The guy that stopped at the intersection the other day and, and wanted to wash my windshield, was a thousand times better than Barack Obama. I mean, I gave him a couple bucks. <laughs> you know? But the thing of it is, you know, I, honestly, honestly, I see this happening all over again because what came out of this guy's mouth next didn't shock me. He said, well, you know, the Republicans, if they're smart, they'd get Chris Christie up there. That's who they'd... Are you fucking kidding me? That's the same nonsense. So that's what we need. That's exactly what we need. Another East Coast liberal rhino. That's exactly what we need. And, what, you know, the thing that cracks me up the most is that how they keep talking about how the Republican Party needs to do this, the Republican Party needs to do that. They're, you know, they're only looking out for the Republican Party's best interest. Don't you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? The sad part about it is these freaking Republicans in this country suck it up. Now, I will admit that I'm, I'm, less and, I'm less and less happy with the Republican Party for a lot of different reasons. But the fact of the matter is, is that it's still a thousand times better than the Democratic Party. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, I, the, the Republican Party needs a ass kicking. It needs a freaking ass kicking. It needs cleaned up. It needs straightened out. But the problem the Republican Party has is not that they're too conservative. Because unless, you know, here's the thing. The arguments that the, that the left makes about the Republican Party, and by the way, even a lot of people from the Republican Party make this argument, is that they need to become more centrist. They need to be move, move towards, basically become more liberals, what they need to do to appeal to a broader base, you know, which I call bullshit. And, hey, listen, I would almost go along with that if the last two Republican nominate, nominations or nominees for, for the uh, uh, presidency would have been uh, conservatives. Had they been dyed in the wool Reaganists, Reagan types, I would have been like, you know what? Yeah, this shit's, we got to make a change. But that's not what's happened with the last two Republican uh, uh, Party uh, uh, picks. That's not what's happened. Literally, you had John McCain, Mr. I'm crossing the island, working with the, uh, with the Democrats, Rhino. Uh, God bless him for his service, but he was way fucked up. And then you had uh, Mitt Romney, who I thought was a good businessman, had some positive things about him, and, you know, he had some negatives. There's no doubt about that. But like I said, in comparison to the, the evil that we have in the White House, Don, yeah, I called him evil. Absolutely. Anybody that wipes their ass with the Constitution is evil, in my opinion. And, and there's really no, there's just no compromising that, that opinion. I, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 could see, I could see their point if, but there is no if. Because every person that we've put forward to be to be to run for president of the United States has literally been as moderate or liberal as you can get in a Republican Party. You know, and what do we end up with when we do have a Republican president? We have Republican presidents who appoint judges to the bench, whether it's the Supreme Court, uh, 
nominate a Supreme Court justice or, or whether they actually appoint a, a federal judge to the bench. The fact of the matter is, is that in start, George Bush Sr., I know he's not a senior, but George, George Herbert Walker Bush was literally a king at this. What he, you know, what he did was he would put these wishy-washy, not not conservatives on the bench, only to find out once they got that job, to, you know, what they do. Of course, they they lead left, way left. Same thing with the with the Supreme Court. I mean, I swear to God, every with the exception of Clarence Tom. I mean, listen. Honestly, there's a couple of them that are, that are conservatives, but the rest of them are, they could just as easily be with the Democrats or the liberals. Absolutely. Anyway, I'm over 10 minutes. Look at me. <laughs> anyway, all right, I got one mag down and a half of one done, and I got another one to do yet. I don't think I'll be back, but everybody take care. See ya!